They were fed, they were showered, they were offered haircuts and, and any other services that they were needed, correct? Yeah, not only that, they all sign consent forms to go. And then the vendor that, that is doing this for Florida provided them with a packet that had a map of Martha's Vineyard. It had the numbers for different services on Martha's Vineyard. And then it had numbers for the overall agencies in Massachusetts that handle things involving immigration and refugees. So it was clearly voluntary and all the other nonsense you're hearing um, is just not true. And, and all that other nonsense you're hearing is just not true. I guess we'll find out because of course we could imagine from his point of view, this is all on the up and up. They knew exactly what was happening. I told them what was going on. Well, there's a problem, Ron, because there's a couple of um, investigations and uh, potential charges, lawsuits, something being put forward. One from Massachusetts state lawmaker seeking human trafficking, a human trafficking probe about this whole matter. And also from a Texas sheriff for similar reasons, as we know, he took those folks from Texas, brought them over to Florida, then flew them up to Martha's Vineyard. Why? I mean, I guess Florida doesn't have any folks that are migrating. We'll see. Let's go to this, uh, this, this uh, basis for some of these things. Let's continue watching, let's watch more. We are opening up a case uh, with an investigation with regard to the suspected uh, activities involving the 48 migrants from Venezuela. Uh, our understanding is that a Venezuelan migrant was paid a, a what we would call a bird dog fee to recruit approximately 50 migrants from the area around a migrant resource center on San Pedro uh, here in San Antonio. Uh, as we understand it, 48 migrants were uh, lured, I will use the word lured, uh, under false pretenses uh, on, into, into staying at a hotel and eventually flown to Martha's Vineyard, again, under false pretenses is the, the information that we have. From what, from what we can gather, uh, for nothing, for little more than a photo op, video op, and then they were unceremoniously stranded in Martha's Vineyard. So there's uh, that sheriff talking about what it is that they're looking for and the problems with it. One small thing, I know I didn't pick a couple things sometimes, but I get the term bird dogging and he's talking about the person paid to then convince other folks to join this move. Um, I wouldn't use it for humans right now, especially in this particular situation. Anyways, uh, let's go on because there's the other part of these this probe and, and request for some kind of responsibility or culpability behind this is from Massachusetts State Representative Dylan Fernandez. He's a Democrat, he's representing Martha's Vineyard. He called on the Justice Department to launch a probe after he chartered these two planes, DeSantis did. These two planes for more than $600,000 in taxpayer dollars to transport these 50 migrants from Texas to the island last Wednesday. Now DeSantis is why he's in this defense mode as we saw from the beginning there. And he's talking about how then once they got to Martha's Vineyard, this is the whole point then to say to the folks that are willing to listen to this garbage. That then they were booted from the island, deported. You see what I told you? These libs up there just don't care. Watch. And obviously, it's sad that Martha's Vineyard people deported them the next day. They could have absorbed this. They chose not to. But what it shows is if 50 was a burden on one of the richest places in our country, what about all these other communities that have been overrun with hundreds or thousands? Senator Turner, I want to start here. There's more information from that particular state senator and what he wants done about this. But just from this response, Ron DeSantis then having to have his feet put to the fire. And then he's going to continue on with this political stunt, hoping that the folks that are willing to listen will ignore the reality of what's going on around him. Yeah, he's a straight up fool, JR, and he's showing it. I saw him sweating bullets. He was sweating <laughs> bullets. And that's why he's doing a press conference all damn near every day to try to cover his behind. Uh, replace behind with the other word, but that's yeah. exactly what he's trying to do. You know, my grandmother used to say, don't write a check, your behind can't cash. She used the other word too, but that's really what's going on. He went too damn far with this, and I am glad that the sheriff is using strong language, saying Lord, because that is exactly what he did. And JR, I don't know, there was an article written in the Jacobin, in Jacobin, by by Jeff Weaver, former campaign manager for Senator Bernie Sanders. And he laid this whole thing out about how, in fact, DeSantis did break Texas law, a penal code, Texas law title five point section 20, that unlawful restraint, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there are several laws that this man has broken, including hopefully the DOJ will jump in there and investigate. And, and, and I wanna hear Trump chanting, lock him up. 
<laughs> lock him up because his ass needs to be locked <laughs> up. For this. It, it keeps happening every time you see one of these figures that is trying to, uh, even at this point, Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump, climb this political ladder to get more and more power and influence. You'll see that the things they accuse folks of is many times the things that they're committing. We keep hearing about human trafficking. We keep hearing about these groomers when they want to talk about drag shows and drag readings and books and libraries and books in schools. Constant the declarations of the things they're doing to you and your family. But then they do it to other folks and then step their ass right in front of a camera and say, yes, I did it because those people aren't really people. Let's get a little, bit, a little more information from what's going on with Fernandez. Because he and these other witnesses on the scene, they also push back on these claims that DeSantis is talking about here. And there was some kind of coordination and planning going forward with when they're gonna show up there. So this is what they said, no Massachusetts officials were notified ahead of these migrants arrival at Martha's Vineyard. The migrants were later moved to a military base shelter at Cape Cod. That's according to the governor, Charlie Baker. He also ordered shelter and humanitarian support to be provided at Joint Base Cape Cod in cooperation with the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency and other officials. The 125 National Guard members are aiding in this effort. Fernandez said that the welcoming response being provided to the migrants by his state reflects the best of what America can be. He says there's nothing tough about using women and children and families as your political tools. Ron DeSantis is a coward. So okay, I know there's issues with many times the way that, I don't want to gloss over this. Many times the way establishment Democrats may look over many oppressed groups or like to use them even sometimes be like, we're looking to help you. We're doing this, we're doing that. Or it looks like a political look, but really behind the scenes they're not doing as much as there could be. Which is why there's many issues with our immigration policies or even issues with the way that we handle folks or the process in which it goes and whether or not even We'll see folks get deported the same rate that they do whenever there's Republicans in charge. But if you find yourself in this position, as far as Ron DeSantis and and the the, the officials in Texas that allowed this to continue to happen as well, you keep giving away these wins. If you think that's what's really happening, that both parties are using these folks, why would you use them in this way? Because they think they're followers and they also think that people will believe that everyone hates Anyone else that's not a rich white cis man in this country. And I don't know how they continue to go down this road. Uh, but I mean, Ron DeSantis should get some kind of advice from his from his uh, uh, handlers and tell him, hey, maybe say it wasn't really what you were thinking. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure what I could tell him at this point. Because there was another, uh, uh, Senator Turner, there was another uh, official from the Trump administration who said, we thought about this and tried this. I'm not sure if you saw this, I just saw it this morning. He said, we tried and planned this before and we asked some advisors and some legal uh, 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 advisors, can we do this? And he said, no, you can't do it. But Ron DeSantis says, yes, yes, we can. <laughs> to borrow yeah, because he's just else's playing story. games. When you let, you know, letting President Trump outdo him in terms of listening, I can't believe that President Trump listened to an advisor. I don't know, JR, we need to check that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not only immoral what he is doing, I want to know where all the fiscal conservatives are. Because we're going to put immigration yeah. reform in the parking lot for now. We do need to deal with it. And far too many Congresses and presidents have kicked the can down the road. So we're going to put that in the parking lot. But JR, $600,000 of the taxpayers' dollars of the great state of Florida? Where, where are all them fiscal conservatives? They should be raising a whole bunch of hell right now over how this man wasted their money that could have been used for something that could benefit the residents of the state of Florida. How about and if, that? If they do raise that hell, let's go to graphic eight to wrap this story up. Ron DeSantis might not be saying things as blatant as this. The Republican governor has told reporters that he plans to continue paying the cost of transporting migrants detained at the US-Mexico border in Texas to keep them from settling in Florida and sending them to quote sanctuary cities around the country. He also said he wants to call attention to the Biden administration's reckless border security policies. Well, Ron, that is not what's happening right now. What we're calling attention to is your potentially illegal activities. And that's what people are talking about. 